Hey guys, it's Frankie here. So this uh, tutorial today is actually one that was requested on my social media and was a result of me doing a post on where I lashed myself during coronavirus because we're on lockdown so we couldn't get out to lash technicians. So I decided to lash myself and like I said, as requested, you guys inundated me with um, comments and messages if I could do a little tutorial on this. So that's what I'm doing. Now, one thing I do want to say is I'm not saying go and lash yourself. Now, if you are a lash technician and you're a bit nifty with a pair of tweezers and you know about lashes, this is okay to do it. If you are a client watching this or somebody that doesn't do eyelash extensions, Guys, don't even try this because there's a lot of damage and, you know, we're not covered by insurance to tell you to lash yourself and I would never, ever recommend anybody do that. Now, before you get too excited, there is nothing fancy about this tutorial. I think a lot of you are thinking that I've actually isolated every single one of my natural lashes and done a full set on myself using our Cyanar Acrylate Base Adhesive. That is not the case. Now to lash a real client, you're looking at about an hour and a half to two hours, and that's through you being behind that client and being able to isolate every single natural lash and put an extension on. Guys, if you try and do this on yourself, you're gonna be there for about four to five hours. And although I love lashing, like you don't, guys do, I'm not gonna sit there for four to five hours doing my own lashing. So what we are gonna be doing is express lashing, where there is no isolation that goes on, and we will just be plopping the lashes on top. Now we also won't be using Sino Acrylate Base Adhesive, which is the adhesive that we use in our industry to do individual eyelash extensions. The reason being is the eye has to be fully closed for you to use the adhesive because the fumes from it will attach itself to a wet eyeball and give you a chemical burn. This is not only painful, but over time, that exposure that you've had to that product could very likely lead you to have a reaction. So do not do this, do not use our adhesive to do this. Instead, we are going to be using strip lash adhesive like you can buy from the drugstore and which is safe to be used with your eye open. Also, because there's gonna be no isolation, we're gonna be doing express lashes. We also can't use our super strong cyanoracrylate based glue, which would glue all of your natural lashes together and it would cause damage. So this is why we can get away with using the strip lash glue that can be put on top of multiple lash extensions because it's still flexible and we're only gonna be wearing these lashes for a short amount of time. So the best glue for this, in my opinion, is the duo glue that you can get from some drug stores and you can also get it off eBay and Amazon and other places like that. If you don't have that available, any other strip lash glue you've got will also work. So for example, if you've got little ones like this out of strip lash kits, these normally will do. Eyelure is also another one that I've used that is actually really, really good. Now, because we're using strip lash glue, and we're not going to be isolating the lashes, it's going to be a much quicker service. We can build up a lot of volume, so we can put as much on as we want because we can actually load them on top of each other. We're not going to be wearing these for very long, maybe a maximum of five to seven days. Now when it comes to cleaning, you're going to have to be very careful about your cleaning. You're not going to be able to do that normal clean that you can do with individual eyelash extensions. You're going to have to clean around the area using like lipstick ones or flocked applicators or those tiny little micro brushes, just getting right in close. But to be honest, if you're going to go in there with a soft brush and foaming lash cleanser, these are going to come off. So you might want to limit your use of makeup over the next week. And to be honest, if you've got a lot of lashes on, you're really not going to need too much eye makeup. Just because if you're putting like eyeliner on, loads of eyeshadow, it's going to get in those lashes. And because we're not giving them a thorough lash cleanse, you could actually potentially lead to a bacterial eye infection. Now, I don't wear a lot of makeup on my eyes. So for me, I'm probably going to try and wear these for about a week before I take them fully off and then probably reapply a new set. And to take them off, um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm definitely got, not gonna be using our glue de bonder that we uh, use within the industry because again, the eye needs to be fully closed. I will probably soak my lashes the night before in like a baby oil or a Vaseline and then the next morning I will probably just peel them off like you would do strip lashes. So I've had this set of lashes on now for three days. They're still going strong. I think I've only lost two of the extensions that I put on there and I'll talk about what ones I've been using in a minute. So I'm not going to be sitting here and doing a full set with you guys because I've already done it and I never intended to do this video but so many people ask but I will be showing you how I went about doing this set of lashes on me. 
So please think about the lash wrap that you're going to use on your eye because everybody, as we know, eye is different. So just sort of have a little look about what you're going to do. This is the lash map that I used on me. I have quite a round yet drooping eye. I'm not particularly bothered that it's round, but it's the drooping that bothers me. So I kind of wanted to today give me like a little bit of a wing just to try and draw my eyes out a little bit and lift them up at the outer corners to stop that sort of droop going on. Um, but you know, some days I have more of a dolly round effect, some days I have a little bit of a sweep. It just really depends on what I fancied and that's what I fancied doing when I did this set on myself. So as you might be able to see, I've got sort of a little bit more length coming off on the outer corners than I normally would have, just to try and just sort of bring the eye out. I just sort of wanted to lift it and just soften it a little bit. I don't know, I just I just had a play today and as they're not going to be permanent on there, I just thought I'd stick a little bit of length on the outer corner, see how we get on. So what did I use on myself? I used YY lashes, which we have here. And we do have these on the shop. I absolutely love YY lashes. I'm not going to go over what they are, but I have got a, a tutorial on YouTube on them. So go and check that out and it will talk to you what they are about. They're kind of a, they kind of bridge that gap between a classic and a volume look really. Really, really easy to use. Give you a nice dark look. And that's why I like them. So we're going to be using the YY lashes. If you like the look of them, I do sell them on my online shop, eyelashexcellence.com. So pop over there and grab yourself some. We are still shipping if you're watching this during coronavirus. So you'll need some lashes, you'll need some glue, and you will need a pair of tweezers that are angled. Do not use straight tweezers because there's a high possibility you're gonna stab yourself in the eye. So any type of curved tweezer like this, or like this is gonna be suitable for what we're doing. And the reason being, is that when you go to place your lash on, can you see how my tweezer is pointing away like so? So if I was to slip when I put my lash on, I'm only gonna go that way. If you've got a pointed pair and you're like this and you slip, you're gonna go in your eye. So with this sort of pair, nice angle one, these are the SS type tweezers, which I really love. You can get right into these corners like so. Now the key to creating this set is to build an even structure as you go because you might possibly get to the point where you will lose the will to live halfway through your set and if you've tried to sort of build one eye from the outside in or the inside out and then you're fed up, you've got a whole other eye to do. Whereas if you work between eyes, working symmetrically and building a structure, you can get to a point and go, do you know what, I've had enough, I'll do the rest of it tomorrow or whatever. This set only took me an hour, so I was done in that time, but I did work that symmetrical structure from eye to eye, building it as I go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a few on just to show you how I went about doing this. So first of all, I started with an eight millimeter, and this is how I picked the lash up. This is how it looks like in my tweezers. I then dipped it in my glue. Now I actually went probably grabbed a lot more glue than I would normally grab if I am doing a set of individual eyelash extensions. So then I came in the inner corner. Now because you're in a mirror, you're going to have to figure out the angle to put your lash on. So place it in there, so get the base quite close to the lash line, put it on and if need be, just flatten it down. So you're actually sitting there on top of your natural lash. Now my natural lashes grow downwards, so I have to go on top. If your natural lashes grow upwards, you can go underneath. So it really depends where you want to place it. But like I said, I always need lift with my lashes, so I have to go on top. So because I did that one in the inner corner there, I'm dipping in my glue, I'm going to do the same over here. So go in, get the angle, close up mirror, I can see that I'm near the base of the lash line. Just plop it on, put it into the position, and there we go. Again, I'm going to go over the middle here. So for me, I'm going to be grabbing a 10 millimeter, I started with an eight in the inner corner there. In my glue, come in. See, I'm resting on my face. I'm using my face as my anchor. Position it where I want, just drop it on top, and then if need be, just move it in to position where you want it. So I still work on that uniformity because I did it on that eye. I'm gonna go slap bang over the middle on the other eye. If you're right-handed, you'll probably find your right eye easier. Pop it on where you want, get the direction, just nudge it down if need be. See how the tweezers are pointing away so I can't actually cause damage. 
Let's say I want to go on the outer corner. In my glue, come across. This is the bit I struggle with because of the mirror. Bring it in. Pop it where you want it. And then if need be, just nudge it into position. Like so. Do the same on the other eye. And again, and then you can literally just build your set as you want. I actually um, did the structure of my set and then I wanted a bit more density. So I then came through with very short lengths, like eight and nine millimeters, and then just started sort of plopping them kind of in like what I thought looked like gaps. So I then was able to build sort of like a nice dark lash line. So if I felt that I sort of had a gap, let's have a look. I've got a gap kind of here. I just put a shorter extension in there. And then it just helped to give me sort of more of that sort of eyeliner look in that area. And the great thing about this effect is that you can build it as much as you want. Because it's, because you're not isolating the natural lashes, you can load up, you know, as much as you want. And you're only going to be wearing them for a while. Now, I probably wouldn't recommend that you're going to be wearing this week after week for the next three months. Because it probably is going to cause damage. But like me, if you thought, you know what, this week I just want to glam up a little bit. I just want to, you know, have a set of lashes on this is the perfect technique to use for a short amount of time now one thing you won't be able to do with these once you've had them on is brush them i don't recommend brushing them because you will have like the tacky adhesive the strip lash adhesive in there that still remains tacky it doesn't dry solid like cyanoacrylate based adhesive does so don't brush them so instead take a pair of tweezers face them upward so that you can't cause damage and then just go through and just separate them. Now I sleep on both sides of my eyes, so I especially like to sleep on this side. So I know in the morning I need to get up and I need to just re-separate these lashes back out like so. Just need to fluff them back out. But it's really simple. I sort of run the tweezer through sort of halfway. Let's get closer so you can see it. And then I just I almost go through and then open the tweezer up and I just put them into position where I want to go like that and there you go that looks like I've not not got a bad set of lashes on so if you are somebody that is desperate to keep your lashes on you're a lash artist and you're so used to wearing them this is a great alternative to you and to be honest it's not really much different to buying cluster lashes from the drugstore um you can't really do this also with a blunt tweezer you know like your eyebrow plucking tweezer because you won't be able to get hold of if you're using like volume fans or yy lashes but if you were using a classic lash, you could do that. I probably wouldn't recommend to do this with classic lashes because your uniformity has to be spot on with a classic lash. And it's not going to be when you're doing this technique on yourself. If you've got a volume type of lash, like a YY lash or a volume fan, it's going to give a much more coverage. So I personally wouldn't try this with classic lashes. It's going to be volume all of the time. I hope that has assisted to you. Like I said... I'm not saying this again, sorry to be boring, I'm not recommending that clients or non-trained lash technicians go and have a go at this because you are not trained working with tweezers like we are, but this was asked from lash technicians that wanted to know how I did it and that's the reason why I've done this, just to assist those of you out there that asked for it. Um, hope you've enjoyed that one, very very simple like I said and uh, yeah please let me know how you get on and I won't be held responsible for any of you that stab yourself in the eye because you haven't held the tweezers in the correct way so health and safety if you're going to do this comes first over everything see you guys at one of my next videos hopefully bye <laughs>